Fred Pontecorvo here at MainStageToAbleton.com, and today we're going to be talking about how you can set up a global transpose knob. Sometimes you need to transpose all of your patches at once, and believe it or not, it's so simple you can actually add it relatively quickly um, to your already existing patch list. But before we jump in, I want to make sure that you are plugged in and subscribed. So go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe to my channel here so that you don't miss any of the answers to the questions that you might have. I'm going to be coming out with new videos and new content every single Tuesday and Saturday. So I want to make sure that you're not missing out. So take a second to get plugged in right now. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got going on. So right now, um, I've got this really simple patch list. And all of a sudden, I need to transpose everything. Um, and so there's no like immediate easy way to do this, right? Like there's no transpose button. There's no. There's really nothing for me here. Um, so I could go in and add a MIDI effect to every single thing, but that's sort of time intensive. Um, and so we don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a MIDI filter. Um, and we're going to do that by creating a new channel strip. So we'll right mouse click and hit insert new MIDI track. And we're going to move this to the front um, because you can use this for more than just transposition. So I'm going to rename this MIDI filter. And from uh, the MIDI filter, we're going to drop in a pitch plugin. Now, right now, immediately, nothing is going to happen, right? I can... Nothing happened. Um, and that's because right now this isn't going anywhere, but we're going to fix that. So MIDI 2, no output, that's going to work for us. But what we're going to do is we're going to change the input on our patches. So we're going to select them all across the top, and we're going to go MIDI from, and we are going to choose MIDI filter. So now, instead of these channel strips receiving MIDI directly from my controller, it's first going to go through my MIDI filter before it arrives here. So now, when I change pitch, I'm quickly able to transpose. Now this works for any audio effect that you want to send to every single thing. So if you wanted to throw in an arpeggiator here, to every single one you could. If you wanted to have a velocity plug-in so that it was always going to be a certain volume, could totally do that as well. So this is a really easy way to send global information to every single patch that you have in your setup, and you don't even have to redo it. You can just add this one channel strip and go to town. Thank you so much for watching. Now, I want to make sure that you don't miss anything. So head over to my website at mainstagetoableton.com forward slash go and sign up for my newsletter because every Tuesday I'm going to keep you updated with all the new things that are coming out. And of course, there are occasional freebies. There are plugins, there are devices and things that I'm going to send to you from time to time. And when you do that, I'm actually going to send you the fast track patch list guide. And that's going to talk a lot about how you can set up patch lists easily. So if you're coming from main stage or you're looking for a song specific approach, this is an amazing place to start and I don't want you to miss it. So head over there now, plug into my community and I cannot wait to see you there.